Here at Unlimited Cosmetology, we are now offering our aesthetic program and services to the public. Please come down and enjoy a massage or facial. We offer waxing, lashes, and brow services. Call and set up your appointment today. Services start at 5 p.m. We're located at 102 Broad Street in Hattiesburg. Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining us. This is an exciting day. You know why it's exciting? We're still alive. Amen. We can move, we can breathe, we have our beings, we know our name, and we know who has our name written in the palm of his hand. Mm. So at this time, I want to welcome you to the program, and I'm going to introduce and, pre and present to you, but I think most of you know my guests for today. They've been on my show before, but in case you missed them before, I'm going to give them a little intro again today. Right <laughs> here, and they're sitting next to me is Dr. Pastor Annie L. Reese, and she is pastor of Kingdom Commission International Advancement Ministries located on Raw Spring Road in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Did I get it right? Development Ministry. Development, you got it. Okay. And next to her <laughs> is Pastor Clement Ector, Senior Pastor of New Season Family Worship Center located in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Right. Amen. And thank you, my friends, for coming on with You're me. You're so welcome. God yeah. bless you. Glad to say we it. have something going on here, and it's called the 11629 Initiative. We're going to be talking about that today, but before we talk about it, we have some scriptures we want to share, right? Absolutely. Pastor Ector, would you like to start off with one of the scriptures we're going to share today? Okay, and the scriptures we share are dealing with Dealing the with. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, the scripture that I have is Luke 6:38, mm -hmm. and uh, this is Amplified Version. It says, "Give, and it will be given to you. Um, uh, they will pour into your lap a good measure, mm. Mm. pressed down, shaken together, and running over, with no space left <laughs> Ooh, for more." No space. That's a good I like place that. to be in, right there. Mm -hmm. For with the same standard of measurement you use when you do good to others, it will be same measured standard. to you. In return. Wow. Amen. Amen. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Get, we're, you're going to receive a tremendous opportunity to be a blessing to Hannah Hopkins and his ministry. And it's so important for you to sow into good ground. If Amen. you sow in the bad ground, seed does not grow in bad ground. Even though the seed has the capaci uh, capability to do what it's supposed to do, it has to be in the right environment. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is good ground. This is a uh, Holy Ghost filled environment. Mm -hmm. And the seed that you sow in this ministry, you, you will receive a harvest. Amen. I like that. Now, you said something that I had on my mind. Sowing in good soil, that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you sow joyfully. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't sow reluctantly. Mm -hmm. And number three, you sow in expectation, not of receiving what you gave, but because you're obedient that the Lord is going to bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. I'm to my own horn now, but I'm just sharing that. That's Amen. It. That's Praise good. God. Okay. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Pastor Reese, what you want to add to what we've just been talking about? I just like the fact that, he, that and that I like that translation of that scripture. It is so important that it's, you're not going to have any room for anything if you sow properly right. in good ground. Mm -hmm. And I was raised in the country, so and I always think about the multiplication <laughs> of turn mustard greens. Mm -hmm. Just a few seeds, and it just runs over. You can pull sometime all day long, and it's steady. You know, you get those up, and then you look the next day, so you got another They're one coming up. Huh? Oh, they multiply. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to multiply it back to you. Mm -hmm. But right. even when we're sowing in the natural, Mm -hmm. When we're out there sowing, we're happy, we're cheerful as we're sowing those seeds because we know what it's going to do. It's, mm -hmm. We know what's going to happen. And that's what we should expect from the Word of God. Amen. We know mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Right. And we don't expect anything less. That's right. Amen. You know, I, when you were talking about multiplication and giving, and, and Pastor, you read about pouring, putting it into your lap and mm -hmm. having so much. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about Solomon. They gave him so much money until he said, don't bring me don't any bring more. more. <laughs> I have enough. Mm -hmm. More than mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. So that's what that scripture is saying there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. All right. Um, there's a scripture I also found in Malachi 3 and 10. Did either one of y'all want to share that one? 
three and ten. Mm. Go ahead. Oh, is it six and ten? Six and ten. Six and ten. Six and ten. What does that say? I, I have it written down okay. right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now, herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, God is saying this, if mm. I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour, pour you out, out a yes. blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen. Amen. Mm. And, and of course, that's dealing with the tithe, but the tithe and the and the seed, which is when, um, you know, like at our church, well, for example, we, we've been sowing in your ministry, I know, 15 or 18 Absolutely. years. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's beyond the tithes and the offerings, mm -hmm. but it does the same thing that the tithes and the offering mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. If you sow into the kingdom of God, it's like we sow into this ministry, mm -hmm. and we sow into this ministry because mm -hmm. we know it's good ground. Mm -hmm. We're not mm -hmm. going to put our seed in bad ground. Mm -hmm. Because like I said earlier, mm -hmm. you will not receive a harvest. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've known you for whew, quite a few years now. Yeah. And you're a person of uh, uh, character. Uh, you're, you're genuine. You're loving. You're a Holy Ghost filled. Mm -hmm. You're going to do your best to, to, to treat people right. You, you can do your best to do what God has asked you to do. So you are good ground. Well, thank and you. And when we, when you, I uh, said earlier, if you put seed in good ground, you will receive a harvest a whole lot more than you put in the ground. Thank God. Amen. Uh -huh. And I'm glad uh -huh. you made the distinction uh -huh. between tithing and sowing. Mm -hmm. You tithe when you get, give 10% of your earnings. Right, right. You sow when you go beyond that. It, right. And you give something extra to plant and, and, and make an investment. Make an investment. That's, and that's, that's good. Right. And every that's time right. you make an investment, if I invest some money, I intend to get some interest back, some that's right. dividends that's back. That's right. Mm -hmm. So not Increase. only, now I'm preaching by my own self now, but this is, <laughs> this is the word. If I invest in a ministry and it's a good ministry, mm -hmm. I'm going to get back what I put in, but the investment is going to add dividends, so I'm going to get some interest back. Yeah, then, that's right. You're going to get some increase. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. It's like the stock market. If you put your money in bad stocks, mm -hmm. You're going to lose it. Lose you might as well right. throw it out the window going down the road in your right. car. Right. But if you put it in good, uh, your money in good stocks, they're going to bring you a harvest. Absolutely. Amen. I want Absolutely. one of you all or both of you all to give me an example of something of how you have sown and you have reaped for sowing. It doesn't have to be anything big, just something you've, you've given. And then before you know it, you got something back. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just talk about our ministry. You mm -hmm. know, for years we were, well, we started out in a, well, I won't go through all of that, mm -hmm. but we were in a, what they call a storefront. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was in a mm -hmm. store one day and a guy walked up to me and said, y'all still in a storefront? I said, yeah, man, we'll be there till the Lord says something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And about a two months later, mm -hmm. one of my members called and said, hey, pastor, um, got a church on 7th Street. Uh, I talked to one of my friends, she belongs there. She said that they plan, they want to move. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So I got the information, went, sat down with the pastor, and I'm telling you, we talked, and God just put everything together, and fast, quick, in a hurry, mm -hmm. we moved from a 1,400-square-foot facility to over 14 or 15,000 square feet. Okay, now tell us how mm -hmm. you sold well, see, we, in order to we, do we, that. We always we tithe, mm -hmm. we always tithe, mm -hmm. and then we mm -hmm. go beyond the tithe. For example, mm -hmm. when we saw in the, your, your ministry, right. that's beyond the that's tithe. Beyond yeah. the and because of that tithing and because of that sowing and mm -hmm. being faithful, we put that mm -hmm. seed in the ground. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I, mm -hmm. I think the building, uh, we, we, we paid it appraised for like now about $1.7 million. Wow. And we ain't paid wow. nowhere near that. For wow. the facility, to so God be the glory. God brought us a mm -hmm. tremendous mm -hmm. harvest, and my my wife and I was going through the building the other day, and I mm -hmm. looked at the fellowship hall, mm -hmm. and it just hit me: the fellowship hall is bigger than the whole church where you were. Wow! Mm -hmm. Look at God. Mm -hmm. That's the awesome. Increase. Mm -hmm. Increase. Mm -hmm. Increase. Mm -hmm. Now, and I mean, Pastor Reese, I'm so used to saying that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? It's almost the same type of testimony. We were mm -hmm. on the bypass here in Peril, mm -hmm. just around from here, mm -hmm. and in a two-story building there that we were renting, and we invested some money into it to the tune of about 56000 mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, we're just putting this money in this building. It's not ours. He said, nothing that you ever put in the kingdom is lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. It'll be returned to you. Go ahead and do what Amen. you want to do. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord knows we as ladies, we like things to look really nice. Oh, and I on. wanted the building mm -hmm. to look really nice. Plus, mm -hmm. I always believe if your house is nice, then God's house should be nice. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. So he allowed us to move from there. I was going one day out in Royal Springs quickly, and um, 
came back by the storefront, old building mm -hmm. that had been there for years, mm -hmm. dilapidated, just mm -hmm. real bad looking. <laughs> Tell them what I said when I came in there. Lord, she missed God on this. <laughs> <laughs> I support <laughs> <poor thing. laughs> And now people cannot believe oh, it's what it's God has done. It's beautiful. Done it's with beautiful. It. it is beautiful. We bought it. They were selling it for like eighty thousand. I think mm -hmm. it had the store on it. It had a house on it, and the house now is immaculate. It was mm -hmm. renovated by yeah, one beautiful. Yeah, by mm -hmm. our apostle. And mm -hmm. and then there was a trailer in the back. Mm -hmm. So I had three pieces of dwelling places on this piece of property mm -hmm. anyway. We got in there and we paid cash for it. We got them down to I think it was thirty five thousand. Wow. Amen. But I've always tried to sow mm -hmm. in good ground. Mm -hmm. And good ground will always mm -hmm. represent itself. Mm -hmm. You'll always see a harvest coming up from it. You will always see that attachment of a move of God when we're talking about spiritually in mm -hmm. good ground. Well I wanna say both these friends of, of, of mine that I have on this program are givers. They are not reluctant givers. When there is a need, they give. When there is um, opportunity, they yes. give. And so that's what I want to talk about now. I'm not a pastor of a church. I'm a minister of the gospel. And I try to plant seeds, not just when you watch me on TV, but I'm praying for people. I'm trying to be there for people when they mm -hmm, need me. Mm -hmm. But many times people forget that it takes money to do ministry. Amen. 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 Any so kind of I, ministry. I, I want you all who say you love me, and I, I know you do. I see people every time I go out that say, mm -hmm. I watch your program, I'm blessed by it. This is your opportunity to help me to do what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. So I want you all to talk about the 116-29 initiative. Okay, I'll jump on that. Well, I've been telling it everywhere I go since we've come to this decision of doing this. Okay. And, and you know, this is a leap year. Yes. And Hannah is, <laughs> she's always younger because she, you don't have a leap year mm -hmm. as birthday. often every year. Mm -hmm. So the 29th is her birthday. And this is the time that we're doing, taking an opportunity to use this uh, 11629 initiative to be a blessing to this Lifting You Higher television ministry. Mm -hmm. And as she has said, and we all know her life, we've, she's lived and worked among us. When I have something, she comes, she supports, and she gives the seed. And so we just like to say to you, this is a ministry that even knowing someone who has received from it, we can all be a blessing to it and also reap a harvest ourselves. We can be like Isaac. We know it's uh, in this season there's a time where it's kind of tough. Everybody's talking about the economy, but Isaac sold. Man. And, and the, the same, same, same year. The same year he reaped the harvest. So we don't wait on the government. Our government is Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It comes from heaven. So with her, we I just want to say it's because of, of her supporters support and their loyalty to her work through the years that she's been able to keep being on television. And so this vision is still alive because of your support. And she's thankful that God has opened the doors for us again to sow uh, into the ministry and for her to lead people to Christ for her. That's what it's about, leading people to Christ. We hear testimony, we see people and they tell her how they were blessed, or they call her, and they tell her how she, they were blessed. And so she prays for people, and many needs are met through this work. There are different administrations of the work of God, mm -hmm. and yours, Hannah, is just one of those administrations. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so I was watching TV this morning, and there was a lady that had turned 100 years old, and she was just 25 because she was born on leap year. That's what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I said, well, thank you, Jesus. I'm younger uh -huh. than 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is But a But I, 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 as I meet my friends and my family, too, I tell them I've not had a real birthday in four years, so you've not had to, had to give me a gift. But this year I happen to have a real one. So let's take advantage and, and give me... 29 times four is 116. So the four years that you missed, if you give me $29, that equals to 116. That's the way we came up with the 116-29 initiative. Absolutely. Amen, amen. And, and again, this is great ground 
to sow into. And what I'm going to even go a little step further, further Hannah, yeah. for those who are going to sow in, into this birthday that you have and that you don't have but every four years. I'm glad mine comes uh, every year. <laughs> um, we're going to ask that when you do sow into this, to this ministry that you give your seed an assignment. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, some of you have yeah. children who are strung out on drugs. Mm. Uh, some of you have a wife that's cheating on you. Some of you have a <laughs> husband that's cheating. There's a lot of things. Yeah. Some yeah. of you have financial needs and mm -hmm. you say, I can't afford to. Let me tell you something. The, if you're in a financial crisis, the best way to get out of your financial crisis oh, is sow seed. some seed mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. in the ground. Mm -hmm. Because God can take need. just a little mm -hmm. something and make a whole lot out of it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask you to, to sow into this ministry and name, give it a name, what, whatever you need God to do in your circumstances and your situation. When you send it in, write on there what you believe in God to do. Amen. And, and we'll agree with what you need yes. God to do Amen. in your yes. life. Give, don't just sow your seed. Give your seed an assignment. Mm. Tell your seed what you need it to do. Wow. You need a new car? Mm. Sow seed for mm. a new car. Amen. Mm. You got mm. sickness in your body? Mm. Sow for healing. Jesus. Uh, you need a new job? Uh, you got a job, but you want one paying more money? Sow for a job that will pay you more money and mm. you'll be happy on. Yep. So wow. we can give the seed an assignment. Mm -hmm. Wow. And and that seed amount is 116. Mm -hmm. But we're also asking churches mm -hmm. and businesses uh, to sow a seed into this woman of God. She's our local person. She's a co-laborer with us. And the Bible tells us to know them the who labor, labor among you. you. And so mm -hmm. we know you, Hannah, mm -hmm. and we're so mm -hmm. grateful for the work mm -hmm. that you're Amen. doing. We Thank pray you. that God continues to bless Thank you. And we just believe for mm -hmm. an overflow mm -hmm. on these seeds that are coming in. So churches can sow seeds of five hundred dollars or more if you would like to. Mm -hmm. And for the one sixteen, if you don't have all the one sixteen right now, you can start sending it in, in and portion of mm -hmm. it in, yeah, mm -hmm. and then complete it at a at a later date. But it will bless you. Okay. We're gonna have to take a break right here. And uh, we're going to come back. And when we come back, we're going to try to put on the screen uh, how they can sew it. Yeah. Okay. We'll have that up there so they'll know how they can sew it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. If you are being blessed by this program, we need your financial support at this time. Please consider becoming a partner or making a donation to this ministry. Donations can be made using PayPal at Hannah Hopkins Ministries or by mailing your donation to P.O. Box 17405, Hattiesburg, Mississippi 39404. We appreciate your financial support. Please pray about being a part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ during this crucial time by making your donation today. If you have a prayer request, please call us. If you don't get an answer, please leave your name and number and someone will call you back. So we're going to continue with this program today. I like having my friends on because I can really be myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I have sitting right next to me, Pastor Ann Reese, and right next to Pastor Reese is Pastor Clement Ector. So we're talking about um, the program that, uh, it's not a program, it's an initiative that, that the board members, and I thank God for my board yeah. because you need help. You, Amen. You, Amen. We, we're not hermits. We, we weren't made to be alone. We have to help. We have to depend on each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, coming together on one accord, great things can happen. Yes. And so we met and, and we came up with this uh, idea of doing this initiative. But we want you to be a part of it. Because I know that there are some people out there who've been intending to seed and you've just not taken the time to do it. So Absolutely. this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for you to do it. And if you want to double what we asked for, that's fine. If you want to, if you can't give the 116, you want to do less, do that. But if we all come together and do something, we can do great and mighty exploits. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what is that? Mm -hmm. Give them that figure that we're trying to come up with and tell them the purpose of that figure that we're trying to come up with. So that figure is $116 mm -hmm. per person. And um, 
We're trying to come up with a total of 30000 and this will help the ministry to operate beyond just a year or two. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the more we have that's there to support and pay for airtime and this type of thing, then, uh, of course, she can focus more so on praying and meeting the needs spiritually of people. Right. But the amount that we want to come up with is $30,000. And, and in addition to that, we want to renovate the our studio, studio that yes. we're in right now. God has been good. He's been faithful. But God wants us to do things in excellence as well. It's time for us to renovate this place, make mm -hmm. it look good, because God wants us to look good. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. And I thank God for what he's done. Now, there are ways that you can do this. You can sow this. And, uh, Pastor Reese, you want to tell them how they can sow this? So the ways that you can send your seed is you can send it. Uh, it can be paid to uh, through PayPal, uh, Hannah Hopkins Ministry, Cash App, or dollar sign Hannah Hopkins 2. two. Mm -hmm. uh, and your seed offering can be mailed to Hannah Hopkins Ministries at Post Office Box 17405. Hattiesburg, Mississippi, 39404. And I'm sure she's going to put this on the screen. Right. Yeah. Now, Pastor Hector, we had um, one of our events at your church a few years ago, our mm -hmm. celebration. Mm -hmm. And people came in, and you sold a big seed that night. Mm -hmm. um, some other people sold some nice side seeds. But did you, you all have been so blessed. I'm not saying just because of that seed, but you are continuing to grow mm -hmm. in every area. So don't you think seeds help in other areas, you know, like whatever you're believing for? Mm -hmm. Well, a seed will meet any need. I, mm -hmm. I like that. Whatever's going on in your life, mm -hmm. if you want some relief, as Jerry Clyber would say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to sow some seed. And as we said earlier, give it an assignment and mm -hmm. make just make sure it's good ground. Mm -hmm. And God will not only hear, but he'll answer your prayers. Yes, he mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. He will. Um, I, I, uh, I was challenged this past weekend to sow a seed. And I was going to sow half of that seed. And my daughter said, Mama, don't do that. Give the whole seed. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'll mm -hmm. give the whole seed. I won't tell who I gave mm -hmm. it to and I won't tell mm -hmm. how much it was. But when I went to church yesterday, the same amount that I gave Saturday, I got it back Sunday. Amen. It Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cannot beat God when it comes to giving. Didn't he say, test me? Mm -hmm. And prove, prove me. And see, prove me. Won't mm -hmm. I do it? Why are people afraid to give? They don't believe what God said in his word, plain mm -hmm. and simple. Mm -hmm. they, actually, they actually think God's a liar. I mean, I just hate to say it bluntly like that. But you have so many, in, in the average church, only 20% of the people tithe. That's a good tithe in church. Only 20%. 20% is the mm -hmm. average. Mm -hmm. So you have all these people who come in every Sunday, and 80% of them don't even believe what God has said in his word as it relates to them being blessed in their lives. If you're a Christian and you don't tithe, you're going to have some problems. Yes. Now, if you're a Christian your and you do tithe, you might have some problems, but the Lord going to see you through every last yes, one of them. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, you know, the main purpose of this program is to draw people to Christ, to mm -hmm. tell people that God loves them, that he's a forgiving God, and that he wants to save them. Then we'd like to pray for the needs of the people. Mm -hmm. There are so many people who are having problems, wanting to give up. I talk to them, y'all, every Sunday on the phone. Will you pray for me? I'm sick. Will you pray for me? I'm tired. So we don't want this program to stop. It's not for me. I'm not trying to get before the camera to look good because I don't look that good. But I'm trying to get before the camera to help people, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. give people mm -hmm. some hope. And it's your assignment. To let, that's my assignment. I've had a lot of opportunities to give it up. I don't get a salary. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what people will say you're crazy if you stay on for 30 years and you don't get a salary. But God meets my needs. Amen. Mm. Amen. I, don't, I, don't, mm. I don't have mm. a need that God does not mm. meet. Amen. Amen. According mm. to his yes, riches yes, and yes, glory. glory yes, it doesn't yes. have to come through lifting you higher TV ministries. Mm -hmm. It can come through anyway as long as that need is met. Amen. But it becomes and because it, of lifting. Because of it. Mm -hmm. Your faithfulness too. Yes. It. Because when you're faithful, God will take care. You take care of his business, he'll take care of you. And he does it. Every time. And, and I'm me. a little old widow woman. Yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get started now. <laughs> but guess what? God takes care of every one of my needs. Nothing Amen. lacking and nothing missing. Mm. Amen. Mm. Absolutely. Amen. 
I, I haven't lacked man. anything or missed anything since Gary been gone. Amen. And I give God the glory. Yes. I'm not bragging, Ooh. but I can brag on God. Amen. Because Amen. if I wasn't I doing this, who's to say that that need would be met? That's Absolutely. Right. Okay, I'm through. Ann, go on. <laughs> That is so good. But it is because of what we do for Christ. And the scripture tells us that only that that we do for Christ will last. Mm -hmm. When you give this seed, you're doing it for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And because we do that, he is obligated. Amen. That's why he says, test me and prove me. How mm -hmm. many times do we see God telling us mere human beings to test, test him. me? Mm -hmm. God right. who created the right. universe. universe. Sure uh, come does. on. But he says that because mm -hmm. he wants you to know that mm -hmm. even though you may be thinking about holding on to mm -hmm. it, you can trust me mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. and I won't let you down. You know how you can see where a person is uh, spiritually mm -hmm. when it comes to money. Oh, That's yeah. the truth. Oh yeah. You just check how much they, if they made $100,000 this year and they didn't have at least fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 going into the church, mm -hmm. they flaky. That's right. You know, they may That's sing right. good, they might mm -hmm. look good, they might preach good, whatever. Mm -hmm. But on the inside of their souls, mm -hmm. on the inside of the spirit, mm -hmm. they're missing something because mm -hmm. they're not mm -hmm. doing what mm -hmm. God has asked Absolutely. them to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can test, you can look at my bank account and tell where I am spiritually. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. he's just ready to add all these things to us mm -hmm. even when we seek him about mm -hmm. the seed. I'm afraid not uh. to give when God tells me to mm -hmm. give. Mm -hmm. And when he tells me to give extra, I know he's up to something. Mm -hmm. So I want to challenge you today about the 11629 initiative. Show Absolutely. me you love me. Show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> you say you love me. If you love me like you do, then send me something. Do something. Amen. But I do appreciate so, my partners. I so. thank God for my partners, for so. you two, for the actors, and for you, Pastor for all of the people that have given into this ministry down through the years, for mm -hmm. people that have prayed for me. You know, I need the money, but God knows I need prayer. And I have some people who mm. pray for me. And I, I want you to know that I need more prayer partners. I need you to pray for me. When I cross your mind, say pray. a little prayer yes, for me. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Ask God to bless me, strengthen me, use me. Mm -hmm. And if you're not saved, please call the prayer line today because at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. Amen. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. Would one of you like to close with, with a word? Uh, we, if we have about 30 seconds to wrap it up. Guys, you have a window, have an opportunity mm -hmm. to receive from God. This ministry is good ground and we've already shared. If you have some needs in your life, so into good ground, so into good soil, and that's Hannah Hopkins ministry. Been here for over 31 years. Mm -hmm. So into this ground, and I said earlier, uh, write your request on, on your seed. Make your Tell God now. what you need. Make it known. And then bless it and send it to Hannah, and we're going to agree and pray over it and watch and see what God will do in your life. Absolutely. I said again, a seed will meet any need. This is good ground. This is good soil, Hannah Hopkins ministry. So into it and watch and see what God will do for you in your life and your family. We just thank you so much for joining us. You've been a blessing to us. We've been a blessing to you. And until next time, I'm Hannah Hopkins with Lifting You Higher TV Ministry saying, you, you be, be blessed. You be blessed.